All right, guys, we're back where we left off. I got distracted by the time. Build a big barracks right here. Your folks cannot store any more gold. Your coffers have been filled with additional gold. All right. Now we'll dig through here. That's going to be where I attack from. Gonna attack the door. In combat, your workers will attempt to rescue them and return them to their lair, where they may rest and recover. I'd set a worker rally point right there. I appreciate a power nap as much as the next dark god, but could you finish? Yeah. You. Quit that. Doing that, you son of a bitch. Is that the time it's going to take? Holy shit, yeah, it is. Never mind, not doing that. Cancel that. the damn walls. Steal yourselves, lads. 
Damaging and stunning a single enemy. However, it can only be used within your own territory. I could have been that a long time ago. One of your workers has reached level four and unlocked the blink ability, allowing it to teleport a short distance. At higher levels, they will unlock more abilities allowing them to dash over large distances and even teleport across the entire map. Well done, Underlord. You're learning much faster this time. We've barely even started and you already have a notch on your belt. Well done, Underlord. But there's no rest for the wicked. Two inhibitors still stand between us and the mainland. But after your butchery of poor Lord Rusimov, I doubt they'll be as weakly defended. Uh, onward. Double check this. All right. You're making great progress, Underlord. You'll be back to your old self in no time. Our next target is the Citadel of the Intransigent Dotard, Lord Ophelia. He's a dim-witted sort, and he seems to like marching his troops into an early grave. I'd say it's time to learn about traps. Oh, let's go then. Welcome to the breach, Underlord. This stronghold was built into this chasm to safe keep one of the Empire's inhibitors. With its trained garrison, it's virtually impervious to attack. Fortunately for you, their commander, Lord O'Thieland, is a vacuous sort who will throw his troops at your dungeon without strategy or order. I can think of no better time for you to learn how to build defenses for your dungeon. But to do this, you first need a foundry. Open the veins of evil and unlock it now. Foundry, unlocked. Build one now and your minions will be happy to create defenses for your dungeon. To plan your dungeon, why not use the prophecy spell 
to clear the fog of war and scout the surrounding terrain. Ah, I done did that. If you're short on workers to do your bidding, cast the Summon Worker spell to create more. However, every worker after your first five will lock a portion of mana. If you end up with an excess of workers locking your mana pool, you may dismiss them by dropping them onto your dungeon core. It's all right. They won't feel a thing. I'm gonna brute force my way through this one. I'm gonna do the foundry. That's an option, ain't it? Oh, build a foundry's required. Uh, I'll make one. I'll make this first. Your vaults are full of gold. Yeah. Your workers can be a mindless bunch and will continue to claim territory until you command them otherwise. Use Impasse to create banners and limit their movements. Impasse has two modes. One to stop your workers from traveling over the marked area and another that will let them travel over the tiles but will prevent them from claiming them. To dismiss an Impasse flag, simply give it a slap. You can also right-click the impasse icon to dismiss all such flags. Let's put up another one right here. There we go. I don't use much magic. I use that every once in a while. So I just summon worker will create an additional worker for you to command. Each worker summoned after the first five will lock 50 mana. Workers can only be summoned within your own territory. There's foundry. Or not foundry, but a goddamn food thing. Discovered a gold shrine. Huh. You've discovered cool. a gold shrine. Tagging it will allow your workers to mine unlimited wealth for your dungeon. If your coffers are full, or if you're afraid of how wealth might change you, you can always untag it with a second click. a gold shrine. You've discovered a perception shrine. Mm. 
Okay. Foundry, I guess. Chanda has entered your dungeon. Attracted by the foundry, this gassy creature will joyfully launch the fetid content of its stomach to attack. Your other minions would do well to stay a few steps back. You need an archive and cultists in order to research that artifact. What this? all this out. You've gained an additional sin. Make that an archive. Open the veins of evil and unlock the blade lotus. Blade lotus will slice and knock back enemies within melee range. It can be toggled into an inactive mode to keep it hidden from enemy sight. Blade sack. lotus okay. unlocked. There is a natural choke point to the east of your dungeon core. Claim it now, so you may set a trap for your foes. Oh, why do I have an impasse right there? Fucking claim that shit. Alright, let's build archives. Ooh, I do not have enough gold for that. I need fucking gold. I thought this damn thing would give me... Where'd it go? You've claimed the perception shrine. Gold mining active. Okay. Come and mine that shit. Let's hope your vault is brimming, Underlord. It is payday. Ooh, I'm broke as shit. A cultist has entered your dungeon. rally them to do that. I'll build a vault through this area so I'll have gold. Oh, I have no gold. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit.
Motherfucker's just standing around waiting to get paid. that impasse thing that was supposed to be claiming has not been claimed. Cut through here. Yet another sin for you to spend under Lord. Annex unlocked. I already fucking unlocked that earlier. You've got another sin, you devil, you. You've discovered a perception shrine. You've identified an artifact of joy. Oh, so if I go this way... The blade, Lotus, is a spinning flower of destruction ah. that tears nearby enemies into shredded flesh as it pushes them away. To build defenses for your dungeon, you need simply to lay their blueprints upon a claimed tile. Your minions will work to craft defense parts within your foundry, which will then be ferried off by your workers to construct them. Select the blade, Lotus, and build it upon the flashing tile. Time to stop again, guys. Oh, I'll get this one up and then work on the next one.